Hello everyone, I am Rishabh from Excel Next Training Solutions and to begin this entire Excel Next Training program I will be talking about the shortcut keys, hand picked shortcuts of Excel that I find you might be using day in day out. Now the best way to learn shortcut is to try yourself. What I'll do is refer to this list and based on the data that we have in front of us use these shortcuts one by one okay to begin with now most of you would have noticed this 2007 bringing in the new ribbon concept now sometimes to increase the work area I would want them to be hidden collapsed so I may double click on any one of the tab keys it goes back in double click once again it comes back out now alternatively I can use a keyboard shortcut that is control and function key F1 control and F1 if you press it once it collapses if you bring it back using another pressing of control F1 now this is the shortcut that I'm talking about so every shortcut that, that I discuss I'll color them with a particular color let's say dark red control F1 for you let's say the cell that I am currently choosing I want to color it yellow using a shortcut key and I I do not know the shortcut key how to color a particular cell yellow I'll be taking the help of a concept that has come up new in 2007 the concept of key tips what key tips wait if I press alt key once and release it you will notice some key tips appearing at the front of the ribbon and these key tips are indicating one letter for each tab so if I want to access home tab I will need to press the letter H from the keyboard what it does it it gives me more key tips so for example the cell fill color is represented by H once again so let me press H from the keyboard and if I press the down right arrow left key I can choose my desired color and press enter thereafter so this is the shortcut key that I was talking about pressing alt releasing it and then following the key tips let's say I colored a particular cell green and after that I want to repeat that exercise once again so you may choose your destination cell and press function key F4 what F4 does is it repeats your last action now this can come in very handy even if you're working with charts or database formatting we'll see in subsequent videos so this is the next shortcut key F4 now F4 has one more application when later we'll be delving deep into the formula exercises let's say formula like these 2 plus 2 or maybe uh, when we will be referring to cell references so let's say E4 we will be talking about a concept called locking or fixing or in a more technical term absolute and relative references in which case when I after choosing the cell reference if I press F4 it put dollars before column and row references meaning it has locked it now the entire concept of locking fixing I'll discuss later as of now you may just ignore this for the moment now if you want to access a particular cell and see what is inside it quite often you would want to do that when you are working with a formula let's say e4 plus 2 you double click on that cell to find out what the contents are and press escape once it is done you can also press the function key f2 to get inside the cell press escape to get out of it another shortcut key if I want to see what is inside without getting inside the cell sounds contrasting wait there's a shortcut key called control and back tick key what is back tick there's a small special character key just above the tab key you will find if you press control and that special character back tick all these cells in the entire sheet will show the formula will display the formula without you even pressing F2 on that cell let me press the same shortcut combination control back tick you're back to the normal stage so these are the two next key shortcuts that we discussed okay 
The next shortcut key is about navigating across the workbooks. So to display the actual application, let me press control page down, control page up and you will notice the sheets I'm able to toggle across. Give it a fair try, especially when you're working with the workbook which has so many different sheets. You'll find this control page down, control page up, very, very useful. So these were the two next two shortcut keys. Now to be able to discuss the next set of shortcut keys, let me press control page down and go to the next sheet. I'll be talking about data navigation, especially when you have data sets, how do you navigate across this data? Case in point, I want to choose the entire data block given on the left. One way is if you choose any cell from the data block and press control A, the entire data block is chosen. Alternatively, let's say if your cursor is at the first cell, that's client name, and if you just want to reach to the last part of this database, so you use control down arrow key, control up arrow key, control right, control down, control left, and this is how you may navigate across the database. Okay, now next day you want to choose the entire data block. You may choose any cell from inside and press control A. If you press control A once more, the entire sheet would be chosen. Now, let's say if you have a slightly bigger database, how control A can help you, especially if you're applying a data sorting or data filter or pivot table, simply pressing control A can choose the entire data block in one shot. But it has one limitation. The control A shortcut key has one limitation. Let's say if one row was blank and you had chosen, let's say one of the names from here, let's say Titan and press control A, you'll notice it stops at the blank. Now, very often you may be faced with a data set which has a blank and if you use control A, this would happen. So to overcome that, let's talk about another shortcut key. Let me start with the first cell client name. Let me keep shift control pressed both keeping it pressed. I am just for one time pressing the right arrow key so that it safely covers amount. Keeping shift control down. I am pressing down arrow key so it stops at the blank once again down arrow in all these combinations I am keeping shift control pressed once again down arrow key so in a moment's time I am able to choose the entire data set so that was there four shortcuts one is control A the other is control shift right down 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 or if you simply want to navigate across not choose the data then control A should be fine. Let me go back to my index sheet by pressing control page up. So these were the shortcut keys that I had discussed. In fact, if I go back to data navigation sheet and to illustrate this point further, let's say if I want to choose column E, you may choose to press control space bar, the entire column will be chosen. And if you let's say want to choose any particular row, shift and space bar shift space bar or control space bar depending on what you want to select row or column let me go back to index and these were the two shortcut keys that we discussed all right now let's say i want to increase or let's say introduce one particular row in the middle of two rows so you may press control plus now to activate plus you will have to use the shift so control shift and the equal to key will activate control plus and if I want to delete that particular row control minus that's one of the easiest ones control plus control minus now the next three shortcut keys are a bit obvious control C the one that we use for copy for cut it is control X and paste control V now something that we'll be using very often in our discussions that is right click format cells. Now since this is used very very often, let me talk about the shortcut key. The shortcut key is control 1. So if I choose any cell and press control 1, the shortcut key format cells will give me this dialog box. So these were the key shortcut keys. Do give them a good amount of practice because believe me, you'll be using this very very often 
in any data set that you'll be working with. So Rishabh signing off and I'll see you in the next video.